So this is Blaze from the Arts Culture and Us, and we are continuing on another segment of the Art Walk, which takes place when? Every second Thursday of the month from noon to nine. And this is my good friend and longtime associate, actually, Nick. And, and Nick is going to tell us a little bit about where we're at and the significance of this. What's the name of it? Right now, we're sitting in niche.la video art. And uh, we're, we are a dedicated uh, video art gallery and digital art gallery as well. So give your address to where we're at so people know. Because tell them also, since you're also part of Gallery Row, and we'll talk a little bit, tell them what the boundaries are of the Gallery Row area. First off, right now we are at 453 South Spring Street in Suite 441 and 443. I, I bring that up because this is a little different from all the other art galleries in the neighborhood, and that is we are actually on the fourth floor inside of a taller building. We're not a storefront, and we're, we don't have windows that you could peep into. You actually have to come inside and ride the elevator up, and hopefully they will war they'll work. But it's um, right on the, on the north corner on Spring, right off of 5th Street. Right, okay. correct. And let's talk a little bit about what's in here and some of the opportunities, benefits, and what makes it unique You're talking on Wednesday nights. <laughs> <On my, laughs> no, what makes it unique? Well, as a video art gallery, we have the unique challenge of of having a different kind of establishment. We don't show oil paintings, um, you know, your standard uh, well, I don't want to say standard. Everything is unique and beautiful, but what we do is very technologically advanced in terms of the history of art. It's very new, uh, video art specifically, and uh, digital art. Tell us a little bit about what video art is for people like myself that aren't quite clear. Well, uh, the easiest way to explain it is uh, video without a story. <laughs> and I, I say that lightly. And uh, typically... <laughs> Somehow I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you go to movies and you pay $11 to, to watch a beautiful story, a narrative, and you hope to walk out with, you know, knowing characters and stuff like that. Here, it's really the visual medium is the challenge. We are trying to break the boundaries of what is possible to create, what is possible for you to see as an audience. And using video and computer technology, a lot of things are available to us for the first time. And you see it all the time in special effects summer blockbuster movies. You see monsters for the first time that look incredibly real. So this is a, an art gallery that actually um, really just responds to that, th those skill sets. We want to show video art, basically video of things that you didn't think were possible to create, you know. What happens on Wednesday? Well, every Wednesday, actually, because we have an 18-seat screening room in here, every Wednesday we show free movies to the public. And basically, um, my business partner and I, Woody Wise, and I, we decide what movies that we think are credible, important to, um, uh, to uh, film goers, to film fans. Um, and we, we show them every Wednesday at 8 o'clock for free to uh, the public. You just have to RSVP, of course. Um, but uh, we, you know, the first show that we showed was Dreams by Akira Kurosawa. Uh, last week we showed uh, Dead Man by Jim Jarmusch. So, you know, our, our tastes run from um, foreign films, obviously, to domestic films, black and white to color. So we're trying to show it all, and we're trying to show a vast spectrum of what we think, you know, really stands the test of time in terms of film. So. Also, um, over here I noticed that you're having a new little production going on, and I'll take a few shots at in a minute. But what's going on over there in that editing room? Well, right there, right there what we've created is a film video friendly place for, for auteurs, film fans, people who have a project to come here and be able to um, edit their work and then to screen them here as well, right next door. So it's, what we're trying to do is just to create a, a very positive workshop environment. So, and that's one of the reasons why we have the Wednesday night screenings. It's an opportunity for people in love with film, making films, to get together, to express their ideas, to share concepts, to, to you know, meet one another and hopefully collaborate on future projects. So um, what we've done next door is, is create uh, a facility to enable them to, to achieve their dreams. Now, the other thing is we touched briefly upon Gallery Row, the organization. I think we would have to at least say some shout-outs to Cheyenne and so on, some of the others. And, and, and just let the viewers know, I know you're kind of quiet about it, but the impact that Gallery Row, the organization, may have had <laughs> on the development downtown. 
a private, well, a private it's, organization. Yeah. It's it's nothing. I'm very. I'm not shy to talk about. It is. It's. It's quite an achievement, and I really don't know how to express it in words because there isn't any one single person that can claim credit. It really is um, the beauty of the, of the Gallery Row project, or whatever you want to call it, comes from everybody getting together because it wouldn't happen if these creative business owners didn't take the risk. It wouldn't happen if the property owners were willing to take lesser rent. It wouldn't have happened, you know, for any number of reasons it wouldn't it couldn't have tried to get over here, catch up to the art walk poet doing it. The poet art poet walk, yes. <laughs> that's a, that's another example of one of the great things that have come up unexpectedly um, is the poet walk. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get over here to Pete's Cafe and maybe meet up with the poet walkers. But for now, blaze out. Not everybody can sit still like that at the end. I'm glad you're aware that it's necessary. <laughs> This is Blaze on Hurt, but means gallery here on 5th Street in May. Columbus and his errand crew landed on the glorious coast of Mexico. After capturing them, Aztec authorities learned that no known land existed far away to the east. Such discovery was seen as an act of grace, a blessing from the almighty God of war, our Lord, Puatala Zapoki, the emperor desperately needed more souls for the sacrifice to the gods and more slaves to support its thriving economy. Seeing a map brought by the strangers, our ancestors made a monumental decision to explore and colonize the new continent. How shall we call this land? asked the Supreme Council. It is what Mexico is not. Therefore, we shall call it Land A Mexico. Thank you.